Thanks, Prakash with 60 seconds. So today we'll look at a question from geometry based on menstruation. So let us begin. There is a right circular cone of height 10 cm and the radius of the cone is 4 cm. So a cylinder is to be placed inside the cone with one of the flat surfaces resting on the base of the cone. So we have to find the surface area and the cylinder should be such that the surface area obtained should be maximum possible. So we have to fit a cylinder, we have to fit such a cylinder such that it gives, gives us the maximum possible surface area for that cylinder. So I don't know the height and the radius of the cylinder, so let it be h, the, let the height be h and the radius be r. So let the height of the cylinder be h and the radius be r. The total surface area of a cylinder is nothing but 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. This is the fundamental formula, so you should know this. Now, I have a surface area, I will differentiate with respect to r or h and whatever expression I get, I will equate it to 0 and that will give me the value of r or h and accordingly I can derive the surface area. Right? So this is how we solve the questions of maximum or minima. If I want to maximize something or minimize something, I take the expression, differentiate it with respect to the variable involved in the expression and then equate it to 0. The value thus obtained of the variable, if plugged back into the expression, will give me the maximum or minimum value. Now, I will try to differentiate it with respect to r or h. But since there are two variables, differentiation will not be very simple. So what I will have to do is, I will have to express one variable in terms of another variable. So let me try to express h in terms of r because there is only one occurrence of h. I have multiple occurrences of r. So instead of replacing r by h multiple times, instead of that I will replace this one h by r. But I just cannot replace h by r. I need to express h in terms of r. And I will be able to express h in terms of r. Why? Because if you see this cone, in this cone as I increase or decrease the value of h, r will automatically get changed and r will have a specific value. So I can always express h in terms of r or one can, one can be expressed in terms of another. So to express h in terms of r, I will have to use similarity. So let's see at the figure, so here I can say I can get a triangle ABC. I know triangle ABC is the right angle triangle which is similar to triangle ABE, which is similar to triangle ABE. So I know triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. So from there, using similarity, I will try to obtain H in terms of R, which will give me AB by AD. So AB, this height of the smaller right angle triangle by the height of the bigger triangle ADE. So AB by AD will be equal to BC by BE which is very evident. Now I know AB, AB will be nothing but this total is 10 minus the height of the cylinder. So it will be nothing but 10 minus H. This value will be nothing but 10 minus h that is what we have got here so i have 10 minus h divided by the total height ad which is nothing but 10 equals bc bc is nothing but r and be is nothing but 4 so this is the expression i get on simplifying this i will get h equals 10 minus 5r by 2 so plugging the value of h in the formula of surface area i get S equals 2 pi r square, 2 pi r square is same as this, plus 2 pi r, value of h is 10 minus 5 r by 2, which on simplifying will give me 2 pi r square is same as 2 pi r square, plus 2 pi r into 10 will give me 20 pi r, and 2 pi r into minus 5 r by 2, so this 2 2 will get cancelled, I will get 5 r square, so I will get minus 5 r square. Now this 2 pi r square and this minus 5 r square will give me minus 3 pi r square. So this is the final expression of the surface area of the cylinder.
which I need to maximize. So what will I do? I will differentiate this expression with respect to r because there is only one variable r here in the expression. So I differentiate with respect to r whatever I get equal to 0, get the corresponding value of r, put it back in the expression of surface area and get my value of maximum surface area. So I know my expression was 20 pi r minus 3 pi r square. I differentiate it with respect to r and equate it to 0. So 20 pi r on differentiation will give me what? 20 pi and 3 pi r square will give me what? This will give me 6 pi r. So if you solve this further, you will get r equals 10 by 3. So what I will do, I will substitute this value of r equals 10 by 3 in my original expression of surface area. I know my expression of surface area was 20 pi r minus 3 pi r square. So here I substitute the value of r as 10 by 3. So finally I get 300 pi by 9 or 100 pi by 3 which is nothing but my option number 1. So in exam, this might be a little time consuming or sometimes if you are not able to realize okay, what exactly is the way to proceed, this might become a little difficult and this will definitely take some time to solve. So can we use a smarter way by using options wherein I can eliminate most of the options and I can find my answer. So let's see if there is an alternate way. So, I know there is a cone given to me, okay, of height 10 and radius r. Now, I have to fit in a cylinder inside it, okay. Now, what I will do is, I can take h is equal to 0, then r will become 4, right. So, my cylinder will look like a disc. My cylinder will look like nothing but a disc, something like this. So, this will be my cylinder. And it's a disc which has two surfaces, each surface is circle. So the surface area of each circle is pi r square and since there are two surfaces, total area will be 2 pi r square. Right? So let me see what is the surface area of this disc or this extreme cylinder. So it is nothing but 2 pi r square and I know r is nothing but r is nothing but 4. So 4 square gives me 16. So I get 32 pi. So I have taken a special case where h is equal to 0 and r is 4 and I have got a particular surface area which is 32 pi. Now this may not be the most efficient cylinder which will give me the highest surface area. This can only be one of the cylinders. So my cylinder with highest surface area may be equal to this or most probably will have a surface area greater than this. The cylinder that I am looking for must have a surface area greater than or equal to this. So let me see in my options which values are greater than this? Any value which is less than 32 pi cannot be my answer. 80 pi by 3 is how much? 80 pi by 3 is 26.675 pi which is less than 32 pi. So this definitely cannot be my answer. 120 by 7. 120 by 7 will be less than 20 pi. Definitely cannot be my answer. 130 pi by 9. Again, 130 pi by 9 is definitely less than 32 by 5, cannot be my answer. 110 by 7, again, it is definitely less than 32 by, cannot be my answer. If I look at 100 pi by 3, 100 pi by 3 is 33.33 pi, which is greater than 32 pi. So, this can be my answer. And of the 5 options, I get only one option which can be my answer. So, this has to be my answer. So you, looking at the options without doing any of the steps, I can find my answer directly. Always keep an eye on the options and most of the times you will be able to find a simpler way by using options. Okay? If you have any questions, please post them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And if you like the video, to watch more such videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.